Hi everybody, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi Apps. Um, today I'm going to show you how to add some uh, links so that you can link directly to feedback or link directly to uh, remove me links within your feedback reminders. So uh, the first thing I want to show you is that we actually have this content as an article on our main website. So if you go to uh, www.kiwi-apps.com go to applications uh, key feedback articles you will see on the bottom uh, using replaceable content and this is pretty much what we're going to be implementing today but I wanted to do a little video to make it easier uh, on viewers so I've had some requests uh, for somebody to actually add uh, to the bottom of their messages. So let's go, for example, to my US reminder one, uh, so that somebody be able to uh, remove themselves uh, if they do not want to be part of receiving emails here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to add this at the bottom of my email here. And I'm going to, uh, while I do that, open a new window. I'm going to click on this feedback reminder here, but I'm actually going to right click and open this in a new tab so that I can switch between them. Uh, when I open this in a new tab, I can see here that I have uh, one of the variable called remove link. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to go back here in my email and at the bottom I'm going to simply um, go down. I'm going to put a bunch of dashes. Well, actually, here, let's see, since it's HTML, maybe I can add a line. Um, where would that line be in this WYSIWYG? Here, insert horizontal line. How's that? Um, and I'm going to create a link that I'm simply going to call remove me. I'm going to center this in the page. Let's see, where's the center? Right here. And I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to create a link, make it a link. Now this is important that you select other here because our link and our variable already includes the HTTP column slash slash into it. And I'm going to paste that remove me link that I've already added. And I'm going to press OK. So now it's made a link. Uh, I'm going to show you on the background if you're an HTML person and you understand HTML what it looks like. It created a link to remove me link with the text remove me. So what this will do is that it will actually generate a link that is specific to this user so that when they click on the link, it will remove them. What it will do is it will actually, I'm going to save this, it will actually automatically add them to your buyer blacklist. And you can see that here I have an example of uh, somebody that requested to be removed. So it says re requested to be removed uh, by the buyers. It's somebody that clicked on one of those links that were generated. And I've since added um, a time here that will display for you when, when one of your buyers adds. So let's go back to the feedback reminder US1. You can see that now we have generated this remove me on the bottom so that people um, will get removed or can remove themselves. I'm going to add a little comment to it by saying, uh, Let's see, I'm going to go to the next line and by clicking on this link, you will not receive any more of our notification and statuses. Statuses. And because I don't want them to necessarily, you know, click on it. I want to give the option to them, but I don't want to make it so obvious. I'm going to push that down a little bit, down the page. 
and I'm gonna highlight all of that and oops and let's see can I make it smaller background color font size oh yes how about eight like this so it's there but it's not prominent if they want to read it they want to use it then they can use it and I'm gonna save this information and here you go we got this remove me link at the bottom of the email now I've already added this um, leave feedback link here but I will show you quickly that this is the same thing I've highlighted it I wrote a text actually why don't I just redo it here you go please click here to leave us feedback I'm gonna change the text a little bit I'm gonna highlight this all I'm gonna go to my page here and I'm gonna select the feedback link with the two brackets on both sides and all uppercase this is very important now I'm gonna highlight this text and I'm gonna make it a link again you want to select other this is important your link will not work if you select HTTP because our application already include in this link because it's a link the HTTP column slash slash into it and I'm gonna press OK and why did it put it at the end okay it didn't do what I wanted so let's erase that and let's again select all this add a link other URL is feedback hmm it keeps adding it at the end how strange let me look at the source code if I look at the source code you can see that it actually created the link later and it puts this as the text so I'm gonna remove here this text which is actually text not the link and I'm gonna take this cut it whoopsie I went too far and paste it right here instead of the text and the link is still there I don't know why the interface didn't uh, properly do it and you know what I'm not gonna monkey with it for like six hours I'm just gonna use it like that okay so let's see what my links look like and here you go I have a text that is a link that says replaced by the by the feedback link and it will be replaced and generated just for that user so they are taken directly to just your item to leave feedback we cannot autofill their feedback to be pre-filled you know with positive and all of that I know you and me included would wish we could do that but we cannot but at least it will take them to a page where they can directly leave feedback it will be on your item and they can just click positive five star and be done with it and I'm gonna save it and here you go let's see if I can send me a test message maybe and let's see if I receive it and could show you that uh, what it will look like in um, in the browser okay and so I received uh, the notification let me bring it on screen so that uh, you can see it so if I scroll down let's see there you go this is a test again um, and to do a test it just picks randomly somebody from your queue and show this but I want to show you what it does when when you click on the links uh, so let's see it changed your link to if you're not if, uh, please click here to leave feedback so let's see if I click on it obviously I'm not the person so this is gonna error out but you can see that it uh, basically generated um, a link that the person will leave you uh, or this is my user ID feedback for this item and this transaction and you will be able to uh, other users will will be able to leave feedback you can also see that down there 
this remove me link as being uh, added and that if they click on it I'm not going to click on it but it will then bring um, the the link or it will actually add them to the to the blacklist so uh, let me close this and go back to the application again what we did today is we added this or we made it a link and we also added the remove me link now if you again click on just feedback reminder here there are other variables that you can use throughout um, your messages and uh, we already use a couple of them in in the default messages uh, to replace the title the name of the person the seller ID will put your seller ID um, but I wanted to show you those other options so that you could then that you could use them so once again, this is Jean-Charles Compagnon with the Kiwi app. I hope uh, you like our application. We're definitely looking for comments and ways to improve our application. So feel free to contact us, post some co comments on the videos, uh, and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you.